Now, rainfed agriculture is about variability. I mean, variability of rainfall, yes, but also massive variability and diversity within these ecosystems. The kind of soil, the availability of water, uh, livestock. So all of these interconnected uh, aspects kind of uh, lead them to develop a certain practice that is particular to the land uh, on which they operate. And in India, if you see, rainfed area forms the middle part of the whole country and pockets in other states. And that's also the poorest areas in the country. And demographically also, that's where the larger this thing of Adivasis stay. We're saying that each farmer in rainfed agriculture systems, in, again, given the kind of diversity of their soil systems, of the crop and livestock choices that they have, um, they're all making policies on a daily basis. They're making their own decisions with their goals, with the kind of variability and stresses that they face. So what we are trying to do is to strengthen their ability to articulate what they need as support from the state system. So we're talking about a knowledge policy practice continuum in rain for agriculture systems that can actually strengthen existing, well, knowledge policy practice capacities. You need good public investments with decentralized knowledge policy practice relationships in place. And you would save on all these subsidies. But most importantly, you would actually generate millions of jobs. Rural industrialization is the answer that has to come along with revitalization of rain for agriculture.